Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making a quick video on how to build a login screen with Power Apps. I think a good use case for this would be if you're a company that has limited licenses to play with, and let's say you have a app that needs to go up to 10 people, but you don't wanna have 10 license accounts, so you have everyone sign into Power Apps under one licensed account, um, and then you'd have everyone sign into the app with their own unique specified login. That way you can still tell who's submitting data, editing data, things like that. So what we're gonna start is by naming our screen, and we're gonna just say login screen. Then we're gonna add another blank screen, and this is going to be the home screen. So this is if you successfully log in, this is where you will go. And we're gonna add a third and final screen, and we're just gonna call that error screen, and this is where it will navigate if you don't provide correct credentials. This is something you could do on the login screen with a pop-up, but just to keep the video simple and everything kind of spread out, we're just gonna use three screens for this. So we're gonna start on our login screen, and we're gonna drop down a button, and we're just going to call that um, login for text. And we're gonna name the control um, login button. So now we're gonna add a text input for our username and we're gonna remove the default text. And in the hint text, we're gonna say enter username, letting users know to type their username there. And we're gonna go over here and rename our control uh, username underscore txt. And now we'll just copy and paste this control and edit its hint text to be enter password and we will rename it to be password underscore txt. So this is gonna be the basis of our login screen. You can certainly make this look much prettier. Uh, I'll do a little bit of work off camera, make it look a little nicer, and then we'll be back. So I've just added some header text and a nice little blue background. Um, now we'll go to our home screen and just throw down a label and we'll just say, welcome, you made it. Um, and maybe a back button if you want to return to login. All right, so now we will go to our error screen and we're gonna put a label down and we're gonna say, whoops, wrong username or password. And we're just gonna add another button that will take you back to the login screen. So we'll just say return to login screen. So we have the basis of our app pretty much built out. We have our login screen where you'll enter your credentials. We have our home screen where you'll go if your password and username match the criteria. And we have an error screen where you will go if you do not match the criteria for username or password. So next what we're gonna do is go and build our table where we're gonna keep our usernames and passwords. So we're gonna go to SharePoint uh, and create a new list. Just a side note, this is gonna work in any data source that you wanna use, whether it's Excel, whether it's SQL, Dataverse, SharePoint. Um, just for the video, we're gonna do a SharePoint list. Uh, but again, this will work across the board. So what we're gonna do is create a new SharePoint list by coming over here and clicking new, and we'll say list, and we will click blank list, uh, and we will call it user logins. Um, we'll wait for that, and we'll click create. So now that we have our SharePoint list, we're gonna add a column, and we're gonna say single line of text, and we're gonna call this password. Awesome, now that we have our SharePoint list, we can go and add a username and password. So we'll click edit in grid view, or you can click new over here. Um, and you can just say, we'll say username one, and we'll say the password's gonna be one, two, three, four, and we'll click save. Um, I'll add some more off camera quick, and I'll be right back. So I had a few more users, and now it's time to add this data source to our app. So we're gonna go back to Power Apps. We're gonna click on data. We're gonna click on add data, and we're gonna type SharePoint. Oop and connect directly uh, by cloud services, click connect. So this should show up in recent sites. Uh, if you're working with a lot of different SharePoint sites, sometimes it does not. So to get the URL to search for it, we can go back to SharePoint and we can copy right up until it says lists, copy that, paste that, click connect, and it'll link directly to our SharePoint site. So. Here's our list right here, user logins. We're gonna click on that and down here we'll click connect and now we can use this data source with our app. As you can see, it's over here. All right, so we're ready to start wiring this app up and getting things to work. Uh, just before we get started, note that there's probably a hundred different ways to do this. Mine's certainly not the best way, but it's a pretty simple way um, and I think you can build a lot on top of it. So to start, we're gonna click the login button and we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the on select property has been selected and we're gonna expand the formula bar a little bit. So again, what we're looking for, if your password and username don't match anything in here, we're gonna send you to the error screen. If they do match, we're gonna send you to the home screen. So to start, we're gonna to wanna to go with a if statement and open parenthesis. 
and then we're going to want to go with is blank and what we're actually going to do is search for the opposite of is blank. The is blank function is going to return true if there's nothing in that record, but we want to return true if it's the opposite. So by putting an exclamation point in front of is blank, um, it's going to return true and let us know if there's a record there. Now we're going to add a lookup function and it's going to want a source. So we're going to use source as our user logins. So this is where we're going to start checking our user logins table and matching that against what our users enter. So the condition, the first condition, we're going to say title. And again, remember that title is our username column. So we're going to say title is equal to username underscore txt, which is our uh, text control for username on our um, login screen dot text, pulling the text property. So what's in that text box. And now we're going to do two ampersands for and, and now we're going to say password, which is our password column in SharePoint is equal to uh, our password input dot text. And then we're going to close that off with two parentheses. Um, so we've closed off our is blank statement and our lookup statement. So now we're going to add the true value. So if we hit comma, it's, we can see right up here it wants a true value. So if our record is there, our username and password are in that list together, what should we do? We're going to say navigate and open parenthesis. So if it's correct, we, again, we want to go to the home screen and we're going to close that off. And now comma for the else value. So if this record's not here, meaning that the username and password that you entered is not in that list, we want to navigate to the error screen. So navigate and we can see down here error screen and we'll close that off. And then one more parenthesis and our statement is done. So we're going to click format text and go through this a little bit. So we'll start up here again, we have if, and this next one is is blank with a exclamation point. So we're saying if there is a record and the next piece, which is lookup, where we're actually looking up a record from our user logins table, again, where the title or the username is equal to uh, what someone is inputting on this username field. And same goes for the password. So we're title and the password field um, that users entered match something in the user logins so we have a record there. If all that's true, we want to go to the home screen. If it's not, go to the error screen. So before we test the app, I do want to show you one cool feature about a text field in Power Apps. If you click on this and go over to properties and go all the way down to the bottom where it says mode, we can click in here and click password. So now when we type some information in here, it's going to hide it um, just like a password field. So just a cool tip. So now we're going to test this app against our data so we can see our first username is username one and our first password is one, two, three, four. So if we type in username one and password of one, two, three, four and click login, you can see that we make it to the home screen. Um, and now we want an option to return to login. So just the quick uh, back function up here. So on select of this button, we'll just do back and this just will return us to the next screen. So now if we mess up the password and we say, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and click login, it's going to say, Hey, wrong username or password. And we want to do the same thing on this button. We'll just do the back function. And this will take us right back. So we can test this with another one. We have our next one is username two and ABC one, two, three for the password. So we'll try username two and ABC one, two, three for the password and we'll click login. And you see, we successfully made it to the home screen. So this is just kind of showing you the structure again of how to make a functional login screen with power apps. So again, I think this is a pretty nifty feature. If you're at an organization that doesn't have a lot of licenses and you want to have multiple users sign in on multiple devices under one Microsoft account, uh, but still retain access to see who's sending what data, who's modifying what data, who's editing what. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you have any questions, uh, please reach out and we'll see you in the next video.